Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with an unboxing of something that's super, super duper cool. I've been looking forward to this for a couple of years now, I think, is when the pre-orders came out a long time ago. But this is the Extreme Zone, so number two from Damn Toys. This is Hugh Lefrog. Lefroig. Lefroig. Uh, that's French. Nope. No, it's not. It's Celtic. It's what like it? Irish or Scottish. Viking. We're going to say Viking. It's Irish. Excommunicado, which means... That's Spanish. Right. And that's Irish. I'm, I'm guessing Spanish no, and Irish. You, I think that it's uh, like Scottish or Welsh. Maybe. All right, so let's get going. Storm Gear. HK or HX27. The model number is going to be Dam Space EBS002. Now, I love like the Division video game. Dark Zone agents, stuff like that. And I think that this is kind of in line with that. Um, you can see Extreme Zone here. This is the insert that comes inside the box. This is a very complicated figure to build. It's got so much good stuff and everything is so state of the art. It's very complicated. And this is what I would consider an expert build. So give yourself some time to do it. Let's take a look at the trays. First tray. Pop the figure out real quick. Damn toys quality is getting better and better and better. Absolutely love this release. Anything PMC style or dark zone styled or any type of style that's kind of urban, like awesome, urban awesome. We'll call it urban awesome style. Really good head sculpt, good paint. Like the beard. I wish the lips were a little bit darker. Haircut looks like mine. Let's take a look at the gloved hands. Now, some of this gear, um, it's been released from companies in the past. An example is this jacket. This jacket was done by Soldier Story back in, uh, in the day. Pop this off. I'm pulling off the armor right now so you guys can see the shirt and the jacket. This jacket was done by Soldier Story on their CIA SAD. One of the best jackets ever of all time. Uh, great for any Black Ops figure. Uh, now, uh, Damn Toys has done their own version of that jacket. So the jacket is awesome, super, super awesome. And uh, fabric is, is super, super thin, but very good quality. Pockets do work, pull tabs do work. Now be careful, this isn't broken, but these pull tabs will pull off. It's just like a sock, so it goes back over that. All right, so let's take a look at the shirt. Everybody wants the shirt. So anything flannel daddy is good right now. This is obviously a, fan, a flannel, and you can see it's got hook and loop on the side there for your patches. So super, super cool. Pants, older style, military cut. Nothing super fancy. You get down to the boots. These are foot type. We have seen these boots before. They look a little bit different to me but very good quality. You can see this is synthetic leather or PU, and then it's got some rubber around here. So this is a mold, metal grommets, but these are foot type. So if you have a foot, you can stick it in there. Let's take a look at the hands. We've seen the gloves before on multiple releases um, from various manufacturers. You can see these have little white bars on the fingertips. And that's going to be a little bit unique. So these need a little bit of weathering to look good in my opinion, but they are, they are nice. These are Black Hawk. So, very, very cool. All right. So awesome figure, really nice. The body underneath, I've already taken a couple of these apart. The body is um, the newest generation, very good quality. Jacket's amazing. Pull tabs, be careful. We have some uh, hook and loop for the helmet, and then we have some patches in here. Let's take a look at the body armor. So this right here, very cool, uh, very reminiscent of Jack Bauer from Metacom, but super high speed, soft armor. You do get this armored collar, and you do get this thing right here, and this is a sling mount. And then the 
this armor collar. And this right here, we're going to sell with the chest rig kit, armor separate. All right, let's keep going in this box. Com set. Fragile, complicated, good quality, but complicated. This is probably my favorite piece of kit in a long time. And I'll show you why in a minute. Gators. So they go over the boot. This guy's got so much stuff that there's too much stuff. Extra hand. Look at the detail on the PTT. Antenna. But very good quality. Very good detail. And everything plugs in just like the real thing. You can see the little plug right here. So, where do we start? Let's go over a couple things. This right here, drop leg. Anything drop leg that holds an AR magazine or 5.56 or any type of grenade um, that goes on the leg, always sought after, but in black especially. So, that's a good piece. Let's take a look at the chest rig. New cut, new material. We're starting to see this type of material more and more, but very good quality. Good stitching. Just goes over the shoulder, arms go through. And then when we sell this, we're gonna go with this. This is a bladder. You can see it's got buckles. You go onto the back and then it's got a hydration pack or a tube. It's actually got the bladder inside. So, and then laser cut on the back. You're gonna get a little IFAC. I'll just molly into that. This right here, super cool. So that's going to be your hanger pouch. And then I'll go in the front. I love these. You can also put these with the micro chest rigs that Easy and Simple is releasing. But that's just the start. A couple other pouches. This right here is a wrist coach. Super cool. Uh, what that means is it goes on your wrist. And then you can have your map or notes or whatnot. You can see it's got a map in there. It's got hook and loop. I haven't seen this one before. You can see it's got a little pull tab even. So very cool, really good piece. Next, this thing right here, everybody wants. So the division, the new game is coming back, uh, coming out soon, I think. And everybody's starting to make these characters again. But very cool paint, very unique gas mask. This up front, very unique. It's got triple filters, essentially and the smoke lens, so super, super cool. Really nice piece of kit. All right, dump pouch. This will go into the belt. You can roll it up and drop your empty magazines in that, and then you get another little IPAC or general purpose pouch. All right, now we're getting to more stuff over here. So much. We're going to keep going on this chest rig. They have shoulder pads that go with it. Then you have magazine pouches open on the top and they'll molly right in. Get three of those. You get a radio pouch inner set. And okay. So much stuff to go over. This right here is the other thing. 
Okay, so this right here is also gonna come with this vest. This uh, is a little hanger for the back, or you can put it in the front, um, but it holds magazines. And they'll slide in like that, and then you can pull them out. And that sits on your rear butt like that. So very cool piece of kit. I haven't used, I, I've seen this made maybe once or twice, but not a lot. So that'll be a really nice addition to that set. Okay, lots and lots of stuff. Really, really, really nice climbing harness. The belt, super detailed. You got the hoops right there, even down to the buckle. So very, very nice piece. Retention lanyard, you can see it's got a metal pin, does work. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is your sling. And this will hold the rifle in a single point. And this right here, essentially I believe you get looped through the sling mount and this will just go on your vest somewhere, but that is designed to essentially hold it on your shoulder so if you drop it, it's just right there. But unique, again, really nice battle belt. You'll see it's got the holster platform on the right side. Really nice knee pads, good detail, hatch. All right, so we're gonna pull, this comes with two holsters. You can see this is the drop leg, and then you have another holster. You can see the guy's right-handed. Right there. This is a cross draw. So when you put the belt on, he's right-handed, he's gonna have this on his left-hand side. So it's a cross draw. Looks like you could remove that if you wanted to, but that's what it's for. O2 bottle, oxygen tank. If you wanna add a little, little pep to your figure, add a splash of color. This comes with a molly adapter, so you can molly it onto any vest or belt, and you can get that pop of yellow on your character, so super cool. So much stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of line this up how we're gonna sell this. It's gonna come with a dual magazine pouch for a pistol. It's gonna come with a couple of grenade pouches. So if you wanted to, you can take this platform off the drop leg and you could actually put that on the battle belt if you wanted to. We're going to sell this separately because it comes with two pistols. You can use that by itself. Grenades. Little PDA with cord. I'm gonna go on the front. Something like that. But this will go with that communication set. Wow. All right. Still moving, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go over the helmet stuff in just a second. So one thing I noticed on this figure, it came with a lot of pouches that were new and kind of unique. Um, everything essentially has a place. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay. So lots of division kit. 
household items. Comes with this little pouch right here, and this is for your medical shears. That has Molly on it. So super cool pouch, right? Flashlight. Leatherman. Leatherman pouch. Flex cuffs. Flex cuffs pouch. Or you could put a tourniquet in here if you wanted to another tourniquet. Depends on what type, but everything's got a place. Super cool. All right. Let's go over the pistols. You get a plethora of magazines and they're all different types. All for the same gun. Both these are, I believe, G19s, G17s. You can see, flared magwell, really John Wick style. You want to be careful with the action on this. Looks like it can move, but you want to be super careful with it. You can see Magwell, you can pop that off pretty easy. So very good detail. Um, yeah, very good quality. But I love the uh, gold in there. Then you have another one with a little red dot. Yeah, be very careful with the action on these. There we go. Yeah. So be careful with these. Don't use the action a whole ton. Very good looking, fragile. Okay, you get a lots of different magazines. They all work with both guns. One's an extended magazine. And you're gonna have two different pistol lots, essentially. Belt kit. I'll be your belt kit right there. All right. Let's go to the helmet. We're kind of all over the board here because I'm just pulling stuff out. Um, there's so much of it. So helmet, very good quality. Older style. Really cool thing up top here. If you know what that's for, leave that in the comments below. Bungees for the NVG kit. Elastic inside. Rails, a little bit. The comm set you can see here, this has a metal uh, band inside. This is designed to go underneath. Um, if you buy a different type of comm set, you can sometimes use it with the rail system here. Quad I NVG. Tooling's gotten a lot better, much more precise. Really got that Zert vibe going. Battery pack, and then the NVG mount on top. counterweight pouch and you'll have hook and loop and that will sit on the back of the helmet. All right, so we've cleared most of that, right? So much. <laughs> All right, now we get into some weapons. So it has the knife from the Glint Team Ryder Watson figure. So if you have some 1-6 scale paracord, you could paracord that to the vest or to the belt or whatnot. But glad they, that this came with it. I didn't see this in the stock shot, so that's kind of a late ad, but very cool knife. We do get a grenade launcher.
Lots of grenades. A couple of grenade pouches. You get a holster. So I've discovered that you need this piece for the grenade launcher holster, okay? And I was able to pop that off the belt right here. It's PVC. But when we sell this, we're gonna sell it like that. Grenade launcher, got a little red dot on top. Stock. A little bit of a tight fit, but it still works. And this handle does come off. The other thing that you can do is you can take this and then that, and now that'll slip on the bottom of the gun. So very, very cool piece of kit. Grenades are metal. Super, super cool. Okay, moving right along, some extra hand pegs. We got some more fast mag holsters for pistol magazines. Lots of extra helmet bits. So when I say bits, I mean lights and tigers and bears on my camera, strobe, light, all for the rails. All right, this is super cool. And then I'm just gonna do the dump method. Make sure you don't lose anything. Don't do it on black carpet. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> All right, extra hand pegs. Rifle, super, super, super duper cool. New rail up front. You can tell that the, the finishing detail it's very, very good on all of this up here. Look at all that, wow, super cool. Stock pulls out. Cheek riser will, uh, you wanna be careful, but cheek riser will go up, I think. I just don't wanna do it. Stock, look how flat that lays. Super, super cool. Whenever you bend this stuff, don't grab it back here and then go like that. You always want to grab it at the joint. I'm going to pop, just feel it, and then move it. Bolt, let's see. It does move, it's spring loaded. You want to be super, super careful with that pin. Charging handle, magazine does come out. So, very good quality flip up front sight. Sling mount. Sling them out. So you could put this grenade launcher down here if you wanted to on any weapon with a, with a rail on the bottom. You get lots of magazines. So a couple tans, some more window magazines, enough to fill the pouches. Tack light, peck. Check out that behemoth. If you know what this is, leave that in the comments below. A little RMR on top. Very good detail. You get 45 degree. Because why not, right? <laughs> All right. You get a little tack light, and this could go on either pistol. It's going to come with the pistol that goes with the drop leg holster, like that. Then you get a suppressor cover. That's what that is. And then the suppressor, got the glass breaker up front. Super, super good detail there. And then this right here would go over that, okay? Let's see how straight it is. It's pretty good. Very good tooling, very straight. So 
Very, very cool rifle. If you know what kind of rifle that is, leave that in the comments below. Or what kind of rail that is. That's super cool. And then you get a little flip up rear sight. Okay. Now, one thing you want to be aware of is when you're putting scopes on this, you can see normally you'd have the rail on top up a little bit and you'd be able just to catch and then go in. This is a little bit hard to do. So just be aware of that. Give yourself a little bit of time, work on it. It's, it's not the easiest, but once you get it done, it's super cool. So all in all, I would say this figure is a definite buy and a definite, like I'm gonna use so many parts. And I got this in the mail today. I ordered this uh, because I didn't wanna, <laughs> because I was excited because that, that Bravo 07 uh, from Easy and Simple General's Armory came out and I wanted to use this gear. Uh, and it, this just came out, uh, I think like a week and a half ago or so, but fantastic figure, love all the gear. Definite buy for parts as well. So much kit on here, you can do some really, really cool stuff with. But that Bravo 07 figure and some of this kit is gonna be super, super cool. And uh, I may do a build on this, we'll see. Um, again, very complicated, uh, doable, but this is one of those that's, that's gonna be probably, a, probably an eight part, <laughs> maybe more, who knows. But uh, if you guys want me to do a build on it, you can, you can definitely uh, tell me but I may not do it anyway. <laughs> All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more super, super, super cool things like this stuff, make sure that you follow, like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more exclusive and exciting content like this guy.